Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. And today we're going to be talking about clove essential oils. If you're like me, you're quite familiar with the kitchen and the use of cloves in the kitchen. It's used the world over for many different types of recipes. The flexibility of cloves in cooking is astounding. Additionally, as various health and aromatherapy benefits. Now, if you would like to learn along with me about clove essential oil, stick around. The information provided in this video and podcast is for educational purposes only. The information has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This information is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Local to the remote and beautiful island of Maluku, Indonesia. The cloves that we love so dearly come from an evergreen tree that takes over 20 years to be old enough to make a single clove bud. Now, and until those clove buds turn from green to purple, they're not ready to harvest yet. But once they are, they get picked and then they dry in the sun. And did you know that it takes between 4,000 and 7,000 fresh clove buds to equal one pound of dried cloves? Talk about mind blowing. The use of clove buds can be traced back to a millennia onto the old spice trade routes. The spice road went crosswise all over Asia, Rome, Greece, Russia, and even China, and all the surrounding areas. Now, anthropological studies have been showing that clove and clove oil were among the products used and exchanged as currency. Clove essential oil has been used in kitchens for thousands of years. It is the same sweet and spicy, beautiful thing that we have all been using for so long, even in those delicious pumpkin spice lattes. It's been used to add flavor to both sweet and savory dishes for so long. It also contains eugenol, which has been used as a dietary supplement for a very long time. When taken internally, uh, clove essential oil promotes a healthy immune response, as well as the possibility of supporting overall wellness. If you are a Young Living fan like I am, you will know that they have made it a very important part of their Thieves line. It is also in Immu Power, Inner Defense, and their Longevity Formulas, which you will also find on my website directly through me or theirs. Links below. The Journal of Immunology produced a study that shows that the anti-inflammatory properties of clove essential oil are true. Low doses of eugenol can also help to protect our liver from disease as well as reversing inflammation. The study also reveals that it may assist the body in slowing the signs of aging, protecting it from cellular oxidation, which can sometimes make us age prematurely. The University of Buenos Aires set out to determine which bacteria are most likely to be very sensitive to the potency of clove essential oil. What they found was that it was able to take over the microbial control of E. coli and exerted, quote, considerable control over staph aureus, which causes acne and pseudonymonia, urogenosa, which causes pneumonia. What Dr. Axe recommends to do for a facial wash is three drops of clove essential oil and mix it with two tablespoons of raw honey. Mix it together and wash your face, or you can even try some tea tree oil face wash. Clove essential oil is chock full of antiseptic goodness. It's great for things like athlete's foot, scabies, heat rash, cuts, scrapes, other forms of wounds and fungal infections. It's even great, and I didn't know this, for insect stings and bites. Because by nature it's very strong, I do recommend that you do not use this straight, but to always dilute it with the carrier oil. There are several great ones that I highly recommend. Olive oil is easiest to come by and likely the cheapest. You can use coconut oil. You can use jojoba oil. You can even use sweet almond oil. Young Living has a fantastic V6 vitamin vegetable oil complex that is incredible. It's great to aid digestion. It helps to soothe the smooth muscle in the digestive tract to help make your body 
digest foods a little easier, and it can also help to prevent problems such as nausea and vomiting. As a skin care, when applied topically with a carrier oil, of course, clove oil can help address some skin problems such as acne and some sagging skin, wrinkles, and some warts. It's also really great as an insect repellent when you mix it with something citrus like orange or lemon or lime or grapefruit. Or if you are having respiratory issues like asthma or tuberculosis, have cold, it is an excellent expectorant. And did you know that if you chew on it while bitter and kind of gross tasting, it can actually help to soothe a sore throat. Although I do recommend a drop in a glass of warm water to gargle or to swallow. It'll help too. It's also been used as a perfume ingredient for a very long time. It adds a spice and rounds out things that are very sweet and floral, such as rose and carnation and honeysuckle. Its unique scent really helps to elevate the brighter notes while giving it a nice base to rest upon. And absolutely, of course, clove has been used in cooking for so long in pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin spice everything. The unique flavor and aroma just adds a really nice hint of spice and a boost of life to just about anything you're cooking, sweet or savory. It's also been used as a soap ingredient, believe it or not. I haven't used it in one of my soaps before. However, it is not just used for its fragrance, but also because it has relaxing and its antiseptic properties and as massage oil. It works very similarly to capsaicin. You can put it in like eight drops of clove oil to say two ounces of a carrier oil, like the V6 vitamin complex. And you can use that, you can rub it on sore muscles, aches, sprains, places where you have been injured on the inside. You can also use it uh, areas of inflammation around the joints, such as possibly some arthritis. And on the aromatherapeutic side, clove has been known to play very well with others. There are great oils such as allspice, bay, bergamot, chamomile, clary sage, geranium, ginger, grapefruit, jasmine, lavender, lemon, those are my favorites, mm. mandarin, palmarosa, rose, sandalwood, vanilla, and ylang ylang. So those are great to start trying to make your own blends. And I do have a blending video and I will be sure to link it. Here is a really great infographic from organicfacts.net, which I highly recommend you visit. It has some great information. It tells you that it heals wounds and cuts and other types of injuries, making your skin look younger. It treats premature ejaculation fellas. Provides relief from toothache and eliminates bad breath. It can also be a great stress and pain reliever. It boosts the immune system and treats coughs, colds, and cholera, and styes. It also has the habit of controlling sugar levels in diabetics and also stimulates blood circulation and even purifies your blood. It also has other uses, as it mentions here in this infographic, that it keeps bugs at bay and it helps to flavor some terrific dishes from all over the world. And it is also very popular in aromatherapy. Even though clove essential oil has so many wonderful benefits to your health, wellness, and for aromatherapy, you still have to be careful because it is a very potent oil. So I highly recommend to avoid it while you're pregnant and if you have liver or kidney conditions. Even though it may help heal the liver, please consult your doctor if you are considering taking and using clove essential oil in conjunction with the medical professional advice and medication. It can also cause skin irritation, so make sure you try to do a patch test and if it causes irritation, try to add some carrier oil. If it still causes irritation and you get hives, please wash it off very well and never use it again. Always play it safe.
always. Anyway, as a general rule with all essential oils, never use them undiluted in the eyes, mucous membranes, or anything like that. Do not take them internally unless working with a qualified and expert practitioner. So keep them away from children. And if applying an essential oil to your skin, always perform a small patch test to an insensitive part of the body after you have properly diluted the oil in an appropriate carrier. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you found this useful educational information and slightly entertaining. So I encourage you to give me a thumbs up and share it with a friend if you find some use in it and they may as well. If you're new here, hi, I would love to get to know you. So please subscribe and we can have a great time together sharing information and just being a really groovy community. So I'll talk to you later. Stay well, everyone. Take care. Love ya.